name is Sophia. I want to be able to go anywhere without any problem understanding or uh, studying another language because English is a business language. So we need your help. Without your help, we can reach our goals. Thank you. In March 2005, REAP students appealed to the Arlington County Board to provide more student scholarships, and they did so with their own voices. They found their voices at REAP. I cannot begin to tell you how much the REAP program and its year-old classes have made a big difference in our lives as students, as workers, as parents, and as members of our community. We are no longer afraid to talk to the other people because now we can understand them and they can understand us. Thank you very much for your continued support and for giving this opportunity to express our opinion at this public hearing. For over 33 years, the Arlington Education and Employment Program has provided English language instruction to over 90,000 adult immigrants and refugees from over 90 countries. But today, I find the, this program, the RE program, I learn more English. I speak with you. And uh, right now, I am a long officer. I help my people. I help the whole community. Please, help the RE program. Um, it's very important for the immigrants. In the last fiscal year alone, REAP provided more than 6,500 enrollments at six sites, and at our four outreach centers, an average of 113 learners attended free classes daily, making REAP the largest immigrant organization and English provider in Arlington. The REAP program embraces adult immigrant learners as stakeholders in the education process. With each instructional cycle, REAP students participate in a needs assessment process to reflect on the daily context in which they need English skills and to have a continued voice in their learning. This student-centered approach introduces many learners to democratic principles and consensus building. A student at REAP understands that they have a voice and that their voice is needed to define and shape the community of their classroom and to participate in the larger community of Arlington. Since its inception, the ESL curriculum for adults has served as REAP's instructional framework. REAP students develop communication and literacy skills for family life, the workplace, and for participation in their communities. They acquire skills to become lifelong learners with integrated objectives in technology, civics, and culture. To truly promote two-way integration, students regularly and systematically engage with the community, and the community with our students. In 2008, students of REAP's ESOL through theater class performed Beyond the Simple Present for more than 400 community members. Here I'm not the same person. I had a good job before, a respected job. I only moved to the United States to take care of my parents. And here, I'm a housekeeper and dog walker. It helped to remind me how hard people work to become part of who we are and how hard we have to work to help them become part of who we are. But the thing that I think really struck home was the line about, I'm, I'm a different person. I'm not the person that people see here in the United States. 
because I don't have the language skills to be able to fully express who I am. Where is Pete? <laughs> A team of trained and dedicated volunteers assist REAP staff and strengthen our connection with the community. More than 50 volunteers teach classes in REAP outreach centers, and an additional 50 volunteers serve as classroom aides and literacy tutors. In 2008, REAP's volunteers received the Presidential Volunteer Service Award. Every Wednesday for the past nine years, I volunteered as a classroom maid at REAP. I am here because I am passionate about REAP. I believe that the REAP program is something all of Arlington can be proud of. I think REAP is a good investment of my tax dollars because I see the results. Whenever I venture out into the Arlington community, I meet our students. Our students are not just taking, they're giving back to the community. And I came seven years ago to the United States. It's not easy to remember how hard it was for me to begin, in, to begin in this country. My first job was like a dishwasher. My salary was $250 every month. It wasn't hard. I, usually I used to cry when I was washing the dishes. One day I met an ex-military person, a gentleman from my country. And he told me that he has two kinds of immigrants who comes to America. It says one is who just want to work two full times or one time, or one, full time one full time and one part time, and then other people is who work one time or half time and starting the next time. Or the another half time and gonna put improvements in the future. So I decided for a second choice. And he says, if you decide for a second choice, I'm gonna pay you first tuition. I say, I decided to study. So he brought me to the CSC, Center to Clarendon, Education Center, and I started there for 15 months, and my life changed like 100% since I began, because right now I'm working like a supervisor in the regional catering, and my salary is 15 times more than what I used to earn a long time ago, seven years ago. So I just want to say thank you for your support. It's very important for change many people's lives, because if we want more money, we're going to pay more taxes. And that's help everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. On April 16, 2005, the Arlington County Board voted in favor of increasing REAP's budget. The students appealed to the board ensured that REAP could provide scholarships for students once again.